Hey guys, it's Ben the Keeper. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve the Rubik's Cube one side at a time. Non-keepers are known for using this strategy to solve the Rubik's Cube. But solving a Rubik's Cube one side at a time is just a complete waste of time, but it's still kind of fun. So, this tutorial is going to be meant for CFOP solvers, which means that you already know how to solve the Rubik's Cube at least one layer at a time, so you know how to solve it normally. So, so guys, let's just get straight into this tutorial. So obviously if you're a CFOP solver, you already know how to solve the white side, but instead of trying to solve the cross pieces correctly, just solve them the fastest way that you can. Solve all the corners of the white side. There we go. Like that. You can use special inserts like that, like that. Just solve the white side. And then maybe later you will permute it. And next you just have to choose a random side, like let's say orange. Okay, so orange. First you want to fix this piece because you want to make sure that the white side is solved as you solve the orange side. So you can do this. You probably already know how to swap these two pieces. If you're a good CFOP solver, it's M2, U2, M2. There we go. Now you can just search for other orange pieces, like right here. This piece is going to end up right here, so this piece is solved. This piece, these two pieces need to switch, so you can just do the T-perm. Put orange right there. Oh wait, orange. I don't know how I got there, but orange is right there. There we go, I didn't mean the T perm, I meant something else. Okay, next we have three more pieces to solve in the orange. So this piece, it is not solved. So these two, you're gonna wanna swap them. Okay, now this piece is solved in white and orange. And now you're just gonna use commutators like U perms to solve the rest, like right here. Push this over here, take it out, bring this back, insert that, there we go. Now I have one more piece to solve of the orange side. Let's see, where's that last piece? Right there, okay. So guys, try to figure out how you would do this. Just like, just think for a second. How would you solve this orange piece? And what you can do is you can use the left T-perm. And see, it didn't face it the right way, but you can just use other commutators to solve it. Like this, do back soon, and then do front soon and it flips these two corners. You can just do that algorithm over and over again until the corners that you want to flip are flipped correctly. Okay, now the orange side is solved. Let's move on. How about to the blue side? So this edge and this edge can both be flipped. Hmm. I need to swap these two. At this point, it's only logical to permute the white layer just so you can actually keep going. So you can do a J perm at the very bottom. Now you have the entire white layer solved. And I'm only doing this just so you can solve the last two white pieces. These last two white pieces, let's see. If I want to move this over to here. There we go. Orange side, white side, almost blue side. I think that this should work correctly. I can push this blue piece over to here. Take this out. Bring this slice layer back and reinsert this. Now there we go, now I have the blue orange and white side solved. Now we have three sides left to solve. Now you can literally just use commutators to solve this. Like, So what I need to do right now is I need to swap these two pieces to solve the entire orange layer so I can keep going. So let's see, how can I swap these two pieces? What I can do, I can move them right here. And if you know an algorithm, an algorithm that can swap these two pieces is the J perm. And then after you do this, you can just fix this corner with other commutators. There we go. You'll keep running into problems where you need to keep fixing sides, so let's fix the orange side again. And then the blue side needs to be fixed, so... There we go. Right there, now I can do a three edge cycle commutator with the U-perm. I want to take this blue edge and move it over to here. I think that was correct. Now these two are right here. Let's say I can swap this edge and this edge. No, I can flip this edge and this edge by doing this. Do an R, and then do this algorithm. There we go. Now I just need this piece. So let's see. These three pieces can do an edge cycle like this. Just do the UA perm. There we go. Now I have white, orange, and blue solved, but except these two pieces are swapped now. Now let's look at the rest of the pieces that I have to solve. This piece needs to go into here. Now that messed up the blue side, but I can fix that in a second. There we go, I just solved. I just flipped two edges. Now I have 
these three pieces need to all swap, so I can solve this all in one algorithm. Was that the correct U perm? Yes it was. Now I've permuted all the pieces, and now I can just solve the cube with a edge flip commutator. It goes like this. So yeah, this is just meant to be a short tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Cube one side at a time. Honestly, I just recommend that you guys just start playing around with it. Make sure to especially use all of the PLLs that you know, like J perm, T perm, F perm, maybe not T perm, but here I'll show you guys. If you want to switch these two edges, and you don't care about switching these two corners, if you only want to switch these two edges, just do the J perm. If you want to switch these two edges, do the F perm. And if you want to switch three different edges, do the U turn. Now you can set up different things, like if I want to swap these three pieces, I set them up, do a U perm, now they're like that. So just play around, try setting up pieces so three of them are in the top layer, and then you can use U perms to solve them. So guys, I don't know what else there is to tell you. If I left out anything, then please leave a comment about it. Thank you guys all for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe.